This video is how to create a translation animation. We're going to use geometric transformations that we learned from class, and we're going to apply a vector and translate a shape across the coordinate plane. So if we look at this second slide in the PowerPoint, we have our coordinate plane, and it states create a flipbook animation that uses the vector 10, negative 3 to translate a figure. I'm going to go to insert shapes. I'm going to choose a triangle. I will draw my triangle and I want to get some points that are easy. They're going to line up. So let's resize it. So I see that my left bottom point is at negative nine, four. My right bottom point is at negative five, four. And I'm going to just make this triangle a little bit taller so that the vertex is at 7, 8. And I'm even going to move my triangle so it's not isosceles. So now the vertex is at negative 8, 8. So this is the triangle we're going to translate. And you will do this and create your own shape. You can do it with squares, rectangles, pentagons. And you're going to apply the 10, negative 3 vector. To do that, we're going to insert a shape that is an arrow. And if I start from this bottom right point, I have to go 10 to the right and three down. So let's count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 to the right, and one, two, three down. And I'm going to put my vector there. I will right click on it or two finger click on it and choose format shape. I'm going to make my vector red. I'll make the line a little bit thicker. So now I'm going to close the side panel so my PowerPoint screen is bigger. And now that I have my vector, I can copy and paste it. So I'm going to highlight it, hold down Command C, and then I'm going to hold down Command V, and I'm going to move this vector so it's on the other point of the triangle. And then I will make another copy and paste, and I will put this on the third point of my triangle. And we see that when this transformation is done, the triangle should be at the end of these arrows. So now that I have my initial slide done, I'm going to go to the slide with my coordinate plane. I'm going to right click on it or two finger click on it and choose duplicate. And then I'm going to make sure I'm in my new slide. You see the orange rectangle around it. I'm going to drag my shape over a little bit, but I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to adjust it to make sure everything is still lined up on the vectors. And then I will duplicate that slide again. Make sure I'm on the latest slide. My orange rectangle tells me I'm on the last slide. I'm going to drag that shape over again. And then I'll use my arrow keys to just make sure the vertices are all on the vectors. And I will keep repeating this until I get the triangle down to the other end. And if you want to see how it's coming out, click on the first slide and use your down key on the keyboard to move through. And you can move the up key to go backwards. So you see the translation is being animated. So keep duplicating and adjusting till you get to the other end. And once you get to the other end, you can go back to the top, click on the first, and use your down key to move through. So once you have them all lined up the way you want, you can go from the bottom one, it's highlighted. I'm gonna go all the way up to the top one and I'm gonna hold down the shift key and click on it. Notice they all have orange rectangles around them. I'm going to now add the animation features between the slides. 
So with all of the slides highlighted, I go up to the transition menu on the PowerPoint menu. And when I click on that, all the way to the right hand side, there's an on mouse click. I'm going to take the check out and I'm going to say after I'm putting a check in. And at the very end of this, I'm putting a one. So it's zero, zero, colon, zero, one. And apply to all. And now when I go back to the first slide, I'm going to let it animate on its own. I'm going to hit the slideshow on the slideshow menu and say play from current slide. And it went through on its own. Now I'm going to go to the last slide. I didn't want that black screen at the end, so I'm going to take the transition off of the last slide. So only the last slide is highlighted. I'm going back up to transition and I'm taking the check out of after and going back to mouse click. So if I go back to slideshow and say play from start, we see that it didn't go into that black screen. It stopped at the end of the transformation. I'm going to hit the escape key to get out of here. Now I can export this as a movie. I can say file, save as. This is a translation video. I'm going to hit desktop translation video, save. This is saving as a PowerPoint file. So I saved my PowerPoint file so that if I need to go back and edit anything in it, I can do that in PowerPoint. Now I'm going to go to file export from the file format. I'm going to choose MP4. And it's asking you for the presentation quality. You can just use the default settings. Make sure timing with the checkbox. Make sure the checkbox is there. It's going to use the timing that we set up, that 0 0.01 of a second. And we're going to hit export. Make sure it goes to desktop with the same name, but now it's going to be a video. All right? I saw the... Uh, processing bar go by on the bottom. And now I'm going to go to my finder. And I see there's a translation video with a .mp4. I'm going to double click that. And when I hit the play button, there's my animation. Right, so follow along with the video, replicate what I did. You can do this with your own shape. If you have a quadrilateral, you should have four vectors instead of three. If you have a pentagon, you should have five vectors. And it just shows the translation from start to end.